Van Walter here from Diversity, and it is time for your Diversity Two Minute Drill. Today we're talking about cream cleansers and what makes them such an effective cleaning tool. Um, we have three uh, cream cleansers actually in our in our lineup, and I want to give you some information on what separates them, but what is also similar with them, and a few things that is similar with all of them. First of all, they're great for stubborn soils and they all work through abrasion primarily, meaning that there is some grit to them in the formula that actually uh, helps abrade the surface in the soil and uh, remove the soil from that surface. Uh, another thing that's in common with all of them, PPE. You wanna make sure you have your goggles on and your gloves. Uh, they all also will cling to vertical surfaces. Here you can see on a napkin, this is, this is clinging. And what, why that's important is because of dwell time. So if you need to sit on the surface for a while, it will cling to that surface and it will stay on there for a long period of time. Uh, you will always want to remember to shake these before you use them and that will help mix it up in case anything is settled over time, so that's very important. They're really good for bathroom surfaces because they're good on porcelain, ceramic, stainless steel, formica, fiberglass, chrome, surfaces like that and you see a lot of the surfaces throughout a restroom type environment. We always say though, you know, test in an inconspicuous area to make sure that it's not gonna do any damage if you're questioning if it's okay to use on that surface or not because, because it does work through abrasion. And then finally, you don't wanna make sure you wanna rinse after you use it, otherwise you will have some uh, chalky residue on the surface and then just dry it with a clean cloth. So, what separates these three? First of all, this one is Emerald Multi-Surface. It is acidic, so it's a pH of about a two. That's gonna make it very good for inorganic uh, soils like uh, hard water, rust, um, and uh, uh, calcium buildup, and things of that nature. But the acidic nature makes it so you don't wanna use it on marble or anything that might be acid sensitive. So that's, that's a key note to that one. The next one, Emerald Plus is this one is alkaline in nature so this is going to be about a pH of 11 um, and it's going to be okay for marble use. This is also our, our green cream, cream cleanser excuse me and this would be uh, Eco Logo uh, certified so that's going to carry the Eco Logo so if you're looking for the green option that would be the one to go with and then finally we have the Emerald Ultra and what separates this from the other two a couple things it's going to be similar to the plus in the fact that it is a uh, alkaline product, okay on marble, um, but it has a turquoise color to it and a lavender fragrance. So it's gonna have a color and a fragrance to it, whereas the other two are gonna be kind of a white opaque um, with no added fragrance. So if you're looking for something with a fragrance and a color, that would be the option. So that kind of separates the three. Just to show you kind of what uh, cream cleansers do, to a surface, this is a penny that half of it has been actually cleaned with a cream cleanser. You can see how well it did on that penny. So this has been Van Walter with Diversity. Thanks for checking out this week's two minute drill. If you have any questions, please reach out to technical customer service or your local Diversity representative. We'll see you next time.